Hi beautiful people, all praises to the most high. So this video is about good gifts and bad gifts, hate gifts, says the Lord. So in Proverbs 15 and 27, it says, He that is greedy of gain troubles his own house, but he that hates gifts shall live. So a person who's greedy of gain, they would trouble the members in their house. They would take a bribe to advance their gain. <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> but God tells you those who hate gifts shall live now in Joshua 7 and 1 but the children of Israel committed a trespass and an accursed thing so as I said there's good gifts and there's bad gifts and there's also a cursed thing so a bad gift can also be an accursed thing and it can hold you down from prospering once you have it in your midst. For Achan, the son of Camry, and the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, took of the accursed thing. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against the children of Israel. Now, you won't be able to stand against your enemies until you get rid of that accursed thing. Just like I was saying, they give all gifts to whores. We're going to go into that scripture right here. And that you don't know the intent of are the reasoning or the purpose in which somebody gives you a gift, it can be an accursed thing. That's why God tells you in Proverbs 15 and 27, he that hates gifts shall live. And we're going to go into what a good gift is, a bad gift is, and how gifts can be an accursed thing. Now, now, therefore the children of Israel could not stand before their enemies because they had an accursed thing but turn their backs before their enemies because they were a curse. Just like if you have a gift from a strange woman or a strange man, you'll never be able to defeat them or break up with them or get out of bondage with them because you have their accursed gifts that they gave you. Because they were a curse. Neither will I be with you anymore except you destroy the accursed thing from among you. So if you have a bad gift, a bad reward, bribery, a cursed thing among you, you won't be able to stand against your enemies. You won't be able to stand against a strange man. You won't be able to stand against a strange woman. You won't be able to fight back against your enemies because you have their curse good. That is what happened to the children of Israel. So there'd be good gifts and evil gifts. And I'm going to go through the evil gifts and we're going to talk about the good gifts and an accursed thing. Now, Joshua 22 and 20, did not Achan, the son of Zerah, commit a trespass in the accursed thing, and wrath fell on all the congregation of Israel, and the man perished not alone in his iniquity? So you can have an accursed object in your house. You can have a bad gift in your house, and it won't just affect you. It'll affect everybody in your house, even your children, even your spouse, whoever you live with. Because as you see, when you have an accursed thing, what happened to Achan, the son of Zira? He committed a trespass and an accursed thing. He had an accursed thing. And wrath fell on the whole congregation of Israel. And that man perished not alone in his iniquity. So other people perished in this man's iniquity because he had an accursed thing in the congregation. Just like if you have an accursed thing or a bad gift in your house, you will not be able to stand against your enemy and the, that accursed thing will make wrath fall on you, on your house. Your enemy can defeat you. You need to discard all their evil gifts they gave you. Now, it tells you how to discard, to get rid of such things. And it shall be that he that is taken with the accursed thing shall be burned with fire, he and all that he has, because he has transgressed the covenant of the Lord, and because he has wrought folly in Israel. What did God tell you? Hate gifts, you'll live. Because you don't know the intent or the reasoning behind that gift someone gave you. Now, rewards are also gifts. Briberies are also gifts. Now, Isaiah 1 and 23. Thy princes are rebellious and companions of thieves. Everyone loves gifts and follows after rewards. So they judge not the fatherless. Neither does the cause of the widow come unto them. So God tells you these, the princes, they're rebellious and they love gifts and rewards. But God tells them, he that hates gifts shall live because people can hurt you with gifts. 
Now Isaiah 33 and 15, he that walks righteously and speaks uprightly, he that despises the gain of oppression, the gain of oppression is bribery, that shakes his hands from holding of bribes, that stops his ear from hearing of blood and shuts his eyes from seeing of evil. That is how you're supposed to live. You're not supposed to shake your hand at bribes and you're not supposed to take gain of oppression, unjust gain. Psalms 26 and 10, in whose hand is mischief and their right hand is full of bribes. Those are evil gifts. Those are bad gifts. 1 Samuel 8 and 3, and his sons walk not in the ways, but turned aside after lucre and took bribes and perverted judgment. So when you take bribes, when you take evil gifts, you will pervert judgment. Just like when you take gifts from men and women, you will pervert judgment in yourself and pervert judgment with the things that you do because you have an accursed thing. Now, Job 15 and 34, for the congregation of hypocrites shall be desolate and fire shall consume the tabernacles of bribery. So all those people who take bribes, they shall be desolate and fire shall consume them as Job 15 and 34 says. Now, it tells you People love people who give gifts, but it doesn't mean you're supposed to take gifts as God told you because gifts is a way that people can get in to hurt you. Proverbs 19 and 6, many will entreat the favor of the prince and every man is a friend to him that gives gifts. But is it a good gift or a bad gift that you're getting? But people are friends with people who give gifts. Now, Deuteronomy 16 and 19, thou shalt not rest judgment, but when you take bribery, you pervert judgment, so you do rest judgment. Thou shalt not respect persons. When you take bribes, you have respect of persons. Neither take a gift. God tells you not to take a gift. He told you if you hate gifts, you'll live. And in here in Deuteronomy, he tells you neither take a gift. For a gift does blind the eyes of the wise and pervert the words of the righteous. So what are these things when you take gifts? They blind your eyes from from wisdom. They pervert your words of the righteous. And it also tells you up here, it perverts judgment. It perverts judgment in 1 Samuel 8 and 3. So these are the effects of taking bad gifts, accursed things, and having them. That is what it does. It blinds your eyes of wisdom. It perverts your words of righteousness. It perverts your judgment of having good judgment. 2 Chronicles 19 and 6. And said to the judges, take heed what you do. Take heed what you do. For you judge not for man, but for the Lord who is with you in judge in the judgment. Now, wherefore now, let the fear of the Lord be upon you. Take heed and do it, for there is no iniquity with the Lord our God, nor respect of persons, nor taking of gifts. God doesn't want to take your gifts. He doesn't want his children to do such things either. Because if you, you're supposed to know anything you want, you can ask from God. You don't need a gift from another. Proverbs 6 and 35. He will not regard any ransom. God is not taking your ransom. Neither should you take ransom from another. Neither will he rest content though thou gives many gifts even if you give many gifts he doesn't want them now let's talk about the women who think it's a good thing to get gifts from men now ezekiel 16 and 33 they give all gifts to they give gifts to all whores but thou gives thy gifts to all thy lovers and hires them that they may come unto thee on every side of thy whoredom now it is not a good thing just because they it tells you here they give all they give gifts to all whores now hosea 2 and 12 and i will destroy her vines and her figs these are these women where whereof she has said these are my rewards that my lovers have given me what did these women say they better this man better buy me this he better be taking care of me for me to be with him what does it tell you I will destroy her vines and her fig trees, whereof she has said, all the things these men bought her, where she has said, these are my rewards that my lovers have given me, and I will make them a forest, and the beasts of the field shall eat them. 
God is going to destroy all those gifts from her lovers. Because what? They give gifts to all whores. And God says, these are the rewards that these women say, these are my rewards that my lovers have given me. Now in Ezekiel 22 and 12, in thee have they taken gifts to shed blood. So those are gifts of bloodshed, glyphs of bribery. Not all gifts are good gifts. Thou hast taken usury and increase, and thou hast greedily gain of thy neighbors by extortion. So there's people who get money by extorting their neighbors. And, ha and God says, and has forgotten me, says the Lord. Now Ezekiel 20 and 39, as for you, O house of Israel, thus says the Lord God, go ye, serve ye everyone his idols. And hereafter also I will not hearken, and if you will not hearken unto me, but pollute ye my holy name, no more with your gifts and with your idols. So God tells even the house of Israel, his inheritance, don't come near him, don't pollute his name anymore with their gifts and with their idols. He doesn't want their gifts. Now, Daniel 2 and 6. Now, this is Daniel when, the, when he gave the interpretation to the king about his dream and the king offered him gifts. What did Daniel say? Well, let's read it. Two, Daniel's 2 and 6. But if you show the dream and the interpretation thereof, you shall receive of me gifts and rewards and great honor. Therefore, show me the dream and the interpretation thereof. Now, Daniel 5 and 17, then Daniel answered and said before the king, let thy gifts be to thyself. Because Daniel, that seer was wise enough to know that a gift blind is the eyes of the wise. A gift will pervert him in judgment. Uh, that, that king could have gave him an accursed thing and it could have blocked him from seeing his visions from God. Let thy gifts be to thyself, Daniel the seer said to King Nebuchadnezzar and give thy rewards to another. Yet I will read the writing unto the king and make known to him the interpretation, just like the pastors and the preachers are supposed to do to you. They're not supposed to be taking a gift and a reward from you. They should tell you, keep your gifts and your rewards to yourself. Now Ezekiel 20 and 31, for when you offer your gifts and when you make your sons to pass through the fire, you pollute yourselves with all your idols. You were taught that by idol worshipers. Even on to this day, even on to this day, you people do it. And shall I be inquired of by you, O house of Israel? Didn't I tell you, make your inquiry of the Lord on your hands and knees, fasting and praying. These God says, as I live, says the Lord God, I will not be inquired of by you. Why? Because all now you haven't went on your hands and knees and fasted and prayed before your God. You thought it's gifts and rewards. Now Ezekiel 20 and 26. And I and I polluted them in their own gifts, in that they caused to pass through the fire all that opened the womb, that I might make them desolate to the end that they might know that I am the Lord. Now let's work those are evil gifts we spoke about, bad gifts. I wanted to do the bad before I did the good. Now here is the good gifts that people should be attaining to and the gifts that people should want and these are the gifts that are everlasting romans 11 and 29 for the gifts and calling of god are without repentance these evil gifts are with repentance gifts of bribery all of things of like that nature here are good gifts 1 corinthians 12 and 4 now the there are diverse diversities of gifts but the same spirit, my goodness, they're mowing outside. Forgive me if you hear that little bumbling in the back rumbling. Now there are diversity of gifts, but the same spirit. But covet earnestly the best gifts. What are the best gifts? And yet show I unto you a more excellent way. For to one is given the spirit, the word of wisdom. So having the word of wisdom, that is a gift from God. To another, the word of knowledge of the same spirit. That is another gift from God. These are the best gifts, it tells you. To another, faith. Faith is another gift from God. These are the gifts that you should want to have. Word of wisdom, word of knowledge. To another, faith. The gifts of healing. There is another gift. To another, working of miracles. Working of miracles is a gift. To another, prophecy. Prophecy 
is another gift to another discerning of spirits discerning of spirits is a gift to another diverse kinds of tongues that's another gift to another the interpretation of tongues that is another gift now here is another gift where unto i appoint i am appointed a preacher being a preacher is another gift an apostle is another gift and a teacher of the gentiles is another gift gifts of healing now 1 corinthians 12 and 30 i have all the gifts of healing do i do all speak with tongues do all interpret there's many types of gifts. Now, 1 Corinthians 12 and 28. And God has sent some of the church. First, apostles. Being an apostle is a gift. Secondly, prophets. That's a gift. Thirdly, teachers. Being a teacher is a gift. After that, miracles. People who work miracles. That is also a gift. Then gifts of healing. Helps. Being a help is a gift. Governments. Good governments. By God, those are gifts diversities of tongues those are gifts having romans 12 and 6 having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us where whether prophecy let us prophesy according to the proportion of the faith remember people have a gift of faith but also people have the gift of prophecy now here's an evil gift and it tells you luke 11 and 13 if you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask Him? I am just going to stop this video here, and the next video will be about spiritual gifts come from God's anointing, not the Olegen school. And then we're going to go into you had to be appointed and anointed to do the work of God, as we just read about all the good gifts God gives you and he appoints you and anoints you a preacher a, a prophet a healer just like we went through these gifts it's God who gives you the gifts and appoints you the work in his kingdom but until the next video stay blessed